Good morning. My name is Ken Marsh, and I've been a member of St. John since 2009. You know what I really love about St. John's? I love the inviting and the welcomeness when new people come through our church doors. Amen. Secondly, I love the outreach work. As we learned from Joy Schillensberg a couple of weeks ago, ago, also known as worship work that St. John's does in our community. For starters, I want to thank Joy Schillingsberg for all the worship work that she coordinates at St. John's for our beloved community. I love the worship action work that St. John's does. It really feeds my soul from Habitat to, for Humanity, refugee outreach work, continued engagement with our Wellington Park family and friends, and meals served by the Wake Forest Community Table. Two areas I want to focus on this morning is connectedness to our refugee families and Wellington Park. In regards to our refugee families, listening to these individuals and their stories who come to this country based upon hope, fleeing fear, terrorism or war, for the ability to have a safe place to live for a better life. Some of the stories of the U Afghan and Ukraine families are heart-wrenching. Can you imagine what it takes for an individual or a family to flee their home, their country, their extended families, their friends, and in some cases they leave their immediate family this is specific to the Afghan families. To leave everything, to walk or travel hundreds or thousands of miles to start a totally new life. In some cases, having to learn a new language with barely anything with them except the clothes on their back, operating on a hope and a prayer. Last year, I attempted to walk the Appalachian trails, figuring I could make several hundred miles with, uh, by the end of a month. I barely made it several days. For these individuals and families, it takes courage, strength, faith, and hope. They are so grateful for everything they receive from us. The weekly groceries, clothes, furniture, they have real stories to tell and so much for us to learn. Ultimately, they are incredibly grateful. They, the love they receive, they will pay it back tenfold to others in more ways than we can ask or imagine. By our mere acts of, kind, of kindness in a moment of time, they attempt, while they attempt to build a new life here in America. In regards to our Wellington Park family and friends, this is a community that we've been involved with for several years now. The first year was to advocate for them and to help ensure that they had assistance in, into new homes in a meaningful and caring way. The second year has been continuing to build upon those relationships, ensuring that they are all doing well. Out of 40 plus families relocated, a handful are still struggling, as you probably heard at, at, during the joy of Christmas. Before Christmas, we contacted a lot of the families of Wellington Park. If you wanna see gratitude, love and fellowship, it is in this community. It is about a continued relationship for each other and with us, St. John's, building upon a relationship we have built we have developed with them. This is faith and love in action. Some of you may be familiar with the Advent word. Each day during Advent, you get an email with a new Advent word to help one focus on the coming of Christ in preparation for Christmas. This year, on Christmas Day, the Advent word message really spoke to me. It was related to about, it was related to outreach work and made me think of St. John's. If I may, I'll read some of it to you. The Advent word for Christmas day was Emmanuel, meaning God is with us. Really? 
Is this true? Is God really with us? During these last few years of political uprisings, war, poverty, harsh climate change, COVID, the endless hate crimes, it takes a toll almost on everyone. Nonetheless, God is with us. And we as Christians can reassure the rest of the world in this message in one simple way, in our actions. We may individually be called to act in different ways, as Lois alluded to this morning in her sermon. But for me, I will wave the pride flag in support of our LGBT community, feed the hungry, create housing for the homeless, stand against gun violence, unapologetically proclaim that black lives do matter, raise awareness of refugees in need, and pray and support the families of Ukraine, Afghanistan, and Wellington Park. So yes, Emmanuel, God is with us. And he always will be. And God is with us here at St. John's in our actions. We are touching the lives of real people in our community, in our worship action work, and all those individuals who come through our church doors. And this is why I enjoy the worship work at St. John's. Thanks be to God. <laughs>